peace and prosperity this is a side mystic coming to you with another message to help you free your heart and soul right now this is the last time i'm making a video on this but i felt called to make a video on this i have had like so many situations pop up but basically this video is gonna be on um polygamy polyamory um monogamy whatever relationship title you want to go by um ultimately this video is going to be for women and you know men who are on here watching as well <laughs> um but yeah i'm going to be talking about just my conclusion on these different ways of, of functioning in relationships so recently there's been like a real um fad going on in the community and in, in the black community specifically or you know melanated community specifically where people are wanting to become polygamous or polyamorous and the notion behind this um and people wanting to do this is usually involving one that our ancestors did it and this is like the relationship dynamic that they lived by and to that you know there's like a lower percentage of men available to women currently in this day and age because of the prison industrial system and also you know um violence and all this, all this kind of stuff so basically that our ancestors used to do it is the number one reason and then the second thing is that there's not enough men for the women out here so basically in order to make up for this gap and in order for us to become divinely aligned with the ways of our ancestors we have to start to become polygamous or polyandry uh polyamorous once again and so in the beginning like me hearing about this information it was interesting and it piqued my interest so i decided to meditate on it and kind of just receive messages and receive the wisdom of you know how to go about it because i've had i want to say at least four people come to me in my life five now i just remember somebody i've had five people come to me in my life who have kind of like wanted me to be a part of their um polyamory thing that they wanted to do okay and every single time it it felt something didn't feel right about it um except for one time except for one time that one time it didn't feel as odd but every single other time it didn't feel right like my my, my intuition was like mm, mm -mm. so i'm speaking on this right now because i definitely want to shine some light on things that i feel like women don't say or women are not aware of within them own, their own selves and even men within their own selves and the reasons why they are picking up on um wanting to be polygamous or polyamorous in this day and age and so i want to just start off by saying that the basis of the this idealism or these relationship constructs of polyamory and polygamy is so that women and children can be taken care of is so that women and children can be provi provided for and protected is so that the men who are actually men in the community and society can step up and take responsibility for women and children that are presently here you know or future women and children for them to step up and take care of their women and children right so that's the basis of this ideology of polygamy and polyamory from what i have seen and from what my intuition tells me now currently in this day and age from what i have seen and what my intuition tells me is that most men who suggest to women to be polygamous or polyamorous are doing so from a space of feeling 
a lack in their testosterone so basically they're doing so from a place of feeling like they need more testosterone therefore they need more women around to create this testosterone that they're lacking in so if you didn't know this if you didn't know this fact the average level of testosterone in most men has dropped by i think like 300 or 200 it was like 700 used to be the average level of testosterone in in a man and currently now it's 500 is the average and if you're below 500 which a lot of men are right if you're below 500 then this is like you need more testosterone so understand that the average man in america who lives the average american lifestyle is lacking in testosterone and when a woman is present she has the ability to stimulate more testosterone in his body just like when a man is present right who has a lot of testosterone in a woman's life he has the ability to stimulate her estrogen product her estrogen put blah her ex her estrogen production so this is why women who are really taken care of by a man they start to like look more feminine they start to act more feminine they might even get a little more curves here and there you know it's it's a balance it's a balancing act right between this yin and yang energy so right now men are like there are men that are lacking in testosterone that want to fill this void by adding on other women into the picture so they that so that they can have more testosterone and what i need what i have come to understand is this is not a good way to go about this this energy dynamic because most of these men carrying this energy and oh my gosh there are like a whole bunch of garbage trucks driving past right now anyway so okay so by men lacking testosterone and not having enough testosterone they try to overcome their lack of testosterone by what i just said by having polygamous or polyamorous relationships the reason that from what i can tell this does not work is because that's not coming from a genuine space you're not coming from a genuine space you're not coming into po polygamy or polyamory because you have the intention of taking care of this woman and also taking care of her children um if she has children if she will have children with that man or if she has children presently right so the the whole intention behind it is to take care of the the community is to take care of the community how are you going to take care of the community if you coming into polygamy wanting to just have a bunch of women to sleep with and you don't want to marry them you don't want to uh buy them houses you don't want to build them houses you don't want to take care of the, you like you basically like using this polygamy thing as a way to manipulate women into your diabolical scheme so that's the thing about poly polygamy and polyamory today that i want a lot of women to be aware of and a lot of men to be aware of as well because it's it's not right and in this day and age you know people want to say oh you know women women are having an ego trip behind it you know they don't want to put aside you know they they feelings of one of wanting to possess a man or whatever so that's why it's not working and it's like first of all women are not wired to women are wired to make sure their children and themselves are protected and provided for that's what women are wired to do so if you have other women coming into the picture and you're not even fully doing that for this woman and her children or whatever she has going on and you're not even present for her emotionally spiritually physically but you want to add on other people 
of course she's gonna not want to do it like that's just the way we're wired like so people well i wouldn't say people but so this is just what needs to be understood about women and for all the men who are using this excuse that i have to literally it's my job as a man to inseminate the world you have low testosterone because the whole energy behind being the sacred masculine is an embodied level of discipline you have to have discipline to to be initiated into your manhood there has to be some level of discipline within you it's not the same for women we don't have to have discipline right we don't have to be disciplined but you do because you you're wired differently and you're wired to have all of these impulses and urges right that can potentially ruin your life if you don't get it under check or if you don't get it in into um you know yeah if you don't get it in check so the whole point of these relationship dynamics like i said is for the woman and the children to be protected and provided for and if that is not happening then it's a ponzi scheme and it's a you know it's a type of manipulation that's going on because i see so many men who are like yeah i want to be polyamorous i want to do this i want to do that like do you even have your life together do you even are you even centered are you even activated in your masculine energy or you know are you battling with being feminized by this culture that we live in because i will tell you like this culture this western society wants to feminize you they want you to need to depend on women for needing things for having things they want you to need to depend on women to help you build a house and to help you do everything you're supposed to do as a man right because you're literally being fem just like women are being masculine 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 i don't even know the word for it but their masculinity is being put up on the on the front you know front line um women are being you know in, encouraged to go to work and go to college and get all these degrees and pretty much like slave all our lives until we turn 40 and then we have menop menopause and this is like all this stuff that's being pushed on the women pushing us into our masculine energy there's also stuff that's pushing men into their feminine energy that they don't even realize and a lot of a lot of people feel like you know uncomfortable in their own natural energy of be like being feminine you got to ask yourself as a woman do i feel comfortable in my feminine energy do i feel comfortable loving myself and putting myself first and prioritizing myself and having a high self-worth do i feel comfortable saying what i need asking for what i need making my boundaries clear you know do i feel comfortable in my energy or am i still afraid of what somebody gonna think about me if i speak up for myself right so that's the energy that women are dealing men it's like honestly i can't tell you specifically what the energy that y'all go through because i don't go through it personally but from what i can see you know it's a lot of doubt around your ability to be a man you know and to step up and to get things done and to you know i personally i do not think that a man should pursue a woman unless he is uh financially capable of taking care of her and whatever children she has i don't think that a man should um you know commit to a woman unless he has it in his heart to do whatever he need do whatever it is that he needs to do for her and those children right that is what i believe and a lot of people it's it's a lot of pushback around that because people don't want to be judged people want to uh you know continue with their imbalanced um you know energy dynamics or whatever and look do whatever you want to do like i said do whatever you want to do however if you're looking for a certain result when it comes to your relationships and like how you relate to people in life especially men and women and masculine and femininity then you have to learn the rules you have to understand the dynamics of what it means to 
have a healthy relationship so yeah that's pretty much how i feel about you know polygamy polyamory also you know when it comes to polyandry you know like and women who are wanting to be wanting to have multiple husbands i currently feel like you know people are really honestly already living in these kind of ways already but they're not you know making it official because there's only one way that's technically legal in the united states to be affiliated which is monogamous marriage right but there are women who are currently who currently have multiple men taking care of them right i mean it might not be known to the man or i don't know but it's all about what it is that you want as a woman what it is that you want what do you want because a lot of a lot of women worship men and they put and they think about what men want first and they and they want to cater to the man and that's something that you got to get yourself out of because he just wants to please you he he just wants to impress you because he wants to feel like a man he wants to feel like the macho man and he can't feel like a man if you want to be the man and you want to feminize him and always you know cater to him and ask him what he want and do everything for him so that is basically what it boils down to you know as a woman what is it what is it that you want you know because i know me personally if I was in a situation and I was, you know, I was married or I had, you know, um, this man that I admire so much that I'm, you know, in a committed relationship with, married to, whatever. And he's, he's that kind of man who will come through and has, and has the means to take care of me, take care of my child and when i say means y'all gotta understand this is the soul you gotta have you gotta have the heart to do this type of stuff i don't care how much money is presently in your bank account right now you know what i'm saying you gotta have the heart to make stuff happen you gotta have the heart to make things go the way you you, you know you would want them to go it's called honor right that's what most men are supposed to have that's what everybody's supposed to. but men this is the masculine energy honor it's called honor so the honorable thing i would want my man to always do the honorable honorable thing so if i have a sister who's in need who's struggling who has children whatever and he has the means and also the heart to help her um you better you better help her <laughs> you better take care of her you know it's it's that kind of energy so also being able to dissect and get rid of sex being involved right the uh for everybody to be sleeping together that's unnecessary a man doesn't need to be taking care of um you know all the women in the world and sleeping with them at the same time that's nasty like y'all like that's nasty why do you have to do that right and so i've also had conversations with men who say that they're polygamous or polyamorous yet they are with one woman and they be like you know what i feel satisfied i feel satisfied i don't really need to add nobody else on. yeah so that's basically because these people i don't say these people but these guys are not really like <laughs> they're not really they're not really what they say they are you know um i feel that if you can be satisfied by one woman and you don't need multiple women to be satisfied what you're really saying is you know your woman don't want any other women that's what you're really saying because if you say you're polygamous you know what i'm saying that's just something that you do when you're in a relationship you're not monogamous you have other women so if you currently don't have another woman, it's because the woman that you're currently with doesn't want to be polygamous. You know what I'm saying? And she's kind of like egging it on like, oh, I got to find the right woman. I got to find the perfect woman. 
I got to No, she, what she really want to find is her perfect self. That's what she really want to find. What she really wants to find is her fullest self that she is. Her, she's still developing her womanhood as like her, her highest element of being feminine. And so that's really what I be hearing when I hear women say that is like, oh, I'm looking for the perfect woman. And I don't like a lot of women and some women would be disrespectful and, you know, and it's like, I think that you really, you just want to be, you know, you just want to be you and you're still, you know, coming to learn things about yourself and um, growing within yourself. And that's perfectly okay. But my my main thing is you know like own that own that energy you know be real about that energy don't pretend you know or uh put stuff off because you can't find the right woman or you can't find the the perfect relationship or whatever that doesn't exist it doesn't exist you know um so ultimately, yeah, that's really the that's really what would be the case in, in these situations. And y'all, I'm not talking from direct experience because, you know, I've never been fully in a polygamous relationship. But I watch people and I watch people who are in these relationships and I watch men and I watch like I just watch. I'm an observer, <laughs> right? I meditate on it and I just see where people head be at um you know because I know what I know I want to tap into a certain energy and have a certain being about myself so if I calibrate to this you know whatever standard that you know polygamous people think you should live by without first un understanding you know the pros and cons and what's going on like it's like you know it's the same thing for being in a one-on-one -on -one relationship like you need to understand the pros and the cons and the energy that is at play when it comes to most relationships and you know the struggles that people are having and um you know how the things that you can oops and the things that you can avoid i wouldn't even say avoid but the things that you can make sure to empower yourself in before you get into it so ultimately all in all i feel that uh women need to develop their masculine energy in a healthy way you know so they can stop having such low self-esteem and low self-worth and getting like manipulated and uh, into these situations that don't benefit them you know especially in the conscious community you know what i'm saying like men nowadays it's like they're using this consciousness or you know this consciousness um you know to convince you out of what you know is already right from your intuition and a woman's intuition is always on point okay even when she ain't even in, even when she ain't right, she ain't wrong, okay? That's the woman's intuition. And also for the men and for the masculine energy, you know, y'all really got to start stepping into your sacred masculine by integrating your feminine energy and understanding um, who you are in relationship to the, to the feminine energy, you know? Um, you have to be integrated in both energies to be in your natural energy okay so that's pretty much all i had to say about that you guys let me know what you think in the comments and i will see you all in the next video peace